How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here. There is a new update for the Asus ROG Ally to improve your gameplay. And it's just not any regular type of driver update. It's going to update the graphics of ROG Ally. If you're familiar with FSR and RSR, they're practically pretty similar to each other. They are practically super sampling, which will enhance your gameplay. And on top of it, there is frame generation in there, so that way it can improve the frames while you are gaming. That way it keeps it buttery smooth. But AMD also now introduces AFMF. Now when it comes to RSR and FSR, there is a very specific list of certain games that does support it. Not every game does have it. Similar to DLSS, not every game is gonna have it. What AMD's fluid motion frames do is it will also enhance the gameplay on games that are not specifically supported such as Baldur's Gate 3 or any other type of game that doesn't really have that type of support, you will receive high quality and high performing games on no matter what type of game that you play. Now, in order for you to enable this feature, of course, you're going to have to update your ROG Ally. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's going to be super quick and easy to do. First and foremost, what you have to do is open up Armory Crate as the driver sits in there hit that armory crate button and armory crate should pop up you're going to go over to content go over to update center and right here you're going to update your drivers here just make sure you check your updates just to make sure you get your asus rock ally fully up to date here we're going to update all here once it finishes updating, I'll show you what to do next. It's also a good idea just to make sure that your ASUS ROG Ally is powered on with the AZ adapter, so that way you can prevent any type of corrupted files. After you update your Armory Crate, you're gonna wanna go into your My ASUS. Make sure to update through here as well. Just hit I understand. For those who are having issues to get the AMD driver and it's not showing up in Armored Crate or it's for some reason AMD software is missing, I will have the link down in the description down below, but go to the official ASUS ROG Ally website to download the drivers properly for your graphics. As you can see, it will be up to date here as it is for April 25th. So we just wanna make sure to download that driver and then from there, your issues should be eliminated. You're just gonna open up that setup file once it is finished downloading and you should be pretty much all good. So just make sure you restart when necessary, just like now. Before we continue into AMD software, we have one more step, as I mentioned, you just hold down the Windows button. You're gonna go over to settings. Once you go over to settings, you're gonna go to system and you're going to display. Once you go to display, you're gonna go down to graphics, and then here you're gonna change the default graphic driver for settings, and you're gonna to want to turn on optimization for Windows games, and then hit the X. Important to know, when you hit your command center, you cannot have the overlay that is set up on the ASUS ROG Ally, otherwise it messes with the settings here. So make sure to have the real-time monitor off, otherwise it won't work properly. And the same goes for AMD's RSR. You wanna make sure that is set on. Now you just open up the AMD Adrenaline software. It's probably gonna look like something like this if you're just freshly first starting up. So we're gonna just skip this for now. And I'm gonna show you what settings you need to actually get into. So HyperRx, we have to enable. And we will configure the game settings here. Go into the gaming side. And you're gonna go to graphics. Now you could set it for specific games as you saw just earlier on that grid. But as you can see, I have it set to HyperRx. We have AMD's fluid motion frames toggled on as we'd like. You wanna make sure that anti-lag is turned on. You wanna make sure to disable AMD's FreeSync by going to the display. You wanna make sure that AMD FreeSync is off. It's also important to have AMD's Radeon Boost turned on as well. You wanna make sure to set your display to 120 Hertz. 
But just to let you know, if there is any specific games that does go above 120 hertz, you can expect a little bit of stutter. If you want to see the list of supported games that are supported by FSR, I will have it down in the description box. Now, one of the best parts after you set your settings how you would like it, now you could actually go into the game side. When you go into the game side, it will give you a list of games that you have installed on your ASUS ROG Ally. You go into a game like Cyberpunk here, a little bit more information on it, and it will launch the game through AMD software with AMD's fluid motion frames. And now we can just launch the game straight from here. Now enjoy AMD's fluid motion. It is also recommended to fine tune your games before setting AMD's fluid motion frames in order to get the best gameplay back. And by God, it looks amazing. So fam fam guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who has a Asus ROG Ally and needs help on figuring out how to do this, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fam fam, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and for all the newest updates. Make sure you follow my X channel right here, as well as is, is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Bam Bam guys, is there anything that you would like to see from the Asus ROG Ally? Or is there anything you would like me to introduce? Make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mito, signing out.